now to Otorohonga, where the police still do not know where 34-year-old Ross Bremner is three days on from the knife attack that left his mother dead and her husband in a critical condition. There's still a heavy police presence in the town and those in charge of the investigation are pleading for Mr Bremner to come forward. Meanwhile, residents in the town are still in shock. Our reporter Alex Ashton is in Otorohanga. Welcome to Otorohanga, gateway to the King Country, a town famous for its Kiwi house and home to fewer than 3,000 people. It's the kind of town where everyone seems to know everyone, but not a place used to the kind of tragedy that occurred on Tuesday night. Standing on the main street amongst the dairies, dollar shops and cafes, you can feel the heavy police presence as the hunt for Ross Bremner continues. Sylvia Beveridge works in a charity shop on the main street. Her daughter was friends with Claire Bremner, who was killed. People are just quite reeling, really. I mean, you, you suddenly realise that, OK, the big world out there is gradually catching up, you know, with our small community, and, and that's very sad. It's very sad. Mm. What sense do you get from other people? How are they feeling? Very, very similar, you know, and, and a sense of fear as well, you know, wondering what he was perhaps capable of doing. I know people were locking their doors and, you know, sort of being very careful and, and that sort of thing. But for his sake, I hope they find him, you know, and give him the help he needs. A sentiment shared by people on the street. Pleas for Ross Bremner to hand himself in, if he is indeed still alive, and a sense of sadness and shock. We just hope that they find Ross soon as well, so that, you know, they can help him as well if he needs help and just get back to normal. I just send love like so many other people do, lots of love and best wishes to the family and can only, can't even begin to imagine what they're going through. It just must be horrible for them. And also I'd like to send Keith lots of best wishes and love too and hope he makes a speedy recovery. I think they're reeled in shock, to be honest. Maybe it's one up that we should look at mental um, well, wellness, you know, tightening it up, you know. Obviously the person needs help. The acting Waikato District Commander, Naila Hassan, says the community should expect the heavy police presence to remain while Mr Bremner is at large. This morning she urged Ross Bremner to hand himself in. Ross, if you are listening to this, please come to your nearest police station or call us on 111. We need to talk to you about the events that occurred on Tuesday evening in Otorohonga. And we need your help with our inquiries. The police are asking for sightings of a 2003 Silver Holden Vectra, but so far they haven't had any. The weapon used in the attack has yet to be located. Despite the lack of sightings, District Commander Hassan says the search will continue and they are hopeful. We're absolutely optimistic of finding um, Mr Bremner. Uh, we know that we need the community to help us with that, so um, we need to urge the community to keep an eye out and to contact us but do not approach Mr Bremner. The Otorohanga Mayor, Max Baxter, asked people not to gossip about the attack. There's a lot of speculation out there and just, I'd urge people to keep their social media um, feed to a real minimum um, and certainly don't start fueling the fire through speculation because that's all it is. Mr Baxter thanked the Otorohanga public for their support, including home baking for the police. Neighbours on the quiet cul-de-sac where Keith and Claire Bremner lived say they're a much-loved couple who have lived there for 20 years. Keith Bremner tonight remains in a critical condition in Waikato Hospital after major surgery for injuries sustained in the attack. A close friend told Checkpoint he'd suffered a broken jaw, a blood clot and a stroke. Flowers placed at the couple's address showing just how close-knit the community is and just how hard the events have hit Otorohanga. In Otorohanga for Checkpoint, Alex Ashton.